Welcome to lesson two. And this one is talking about taking control of your health, managing health issues. Maybe you have high blood pressure. Now I did not have high blood pressure up until the time that I got obese. I had had three kids. I was very fortunate that I never had high blood pressure issues while I was pregnant. But as soon as I started getting obese into, you know, BMI over 30, I started having high blood pressure issues. I went to a dietitian, I went to a doctor. They both said, you need to go on blood pressure medicines. They did not say lose weight because losing weight will get you back to where you didn't have high blood pressure issues. No, they didn't say that at all. It was handing out meds. And unfortunately, most of the doctors I've had in the last 15 years, especially just want to hand out meds. And I knew that there was a time in my life that I didn't have blood pressure issues. When I wasn't overweight and researching it, I did find out that being overweight or obese can affect your blood pressure. So I thought, okay, is there a correlation here? So that was one of the really important reasons that started me on this uh, weight loss journey to say, I want to lose the weight and see if my blood pressure will come down and not have to go on meds. So I did lose the weight. Sure enough, my blood pressure is completely back to normal again. So the obesity caused the high blood pressure. When I lost the weight, it went back to normal, which is what I had been used to. So that was a really very eye-opening thing that obesity completely related to the high blood pressure issue for me. So some health conditions related to obesity, I didn't have all of these, but I did have some of these, uh, can be, and this is there's scientific studies to back this, that diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, cancer, stroke, high resting heart rate, diverticulitis, stomach pull-ups. That's just a few of the many things when they say that uh, obesity can contribute to health problems. I had a stroke, but that was before I was obese. I had a stroke because I have a congenital heart issue that I did not realize that was there. So some of these can happen if you're obese or not obese or overweight or not overweight. And so just listing them as, oh, okay, this is a, you know, a cautionary thing that if you are overweight or obese, these things can happen. I definitely had diverticulitis uh, when I was obese. That's when it started, but I still can get flare-ups if I'm not careful about that. So that it maybe is uh, started because I was overweight, but I can realize I probably could have still gotten it. So that's been eye-opening actually in the last two years. So some of these you can have if you're overweight or not, but these can be contributing more. And that's what the high blood pressure for me, completely related to obesity, because I didn't have it before, I didn't have it after. So that is definitely something for me. So this is the first bonus for you, and it's about taking control of your health. This is one of the downloads. Just click on the download for this first bonus, and what it's gonna be is a little bit of explanation from me and then it's going to be downloadable sheet and it's a very simple sheet you don't have to necessarily use this one maybe you have a journal book that you'd prefer but the point is write it down write all of the issues you have down i did this for myself when i was losing the weight and i wrote down all the things that i didn't like about my health at that point and i listed them i put them on my wall and it was like these are the reasons why i am wanting to improve my health and that's what I recommend. So you can print out a color version or the grayscale version or make up your own list. These bonuses are recommendations. You do not have to follow them 100% if you don't want to. They definitely will help you have more success in terms of getting it out of our head, writing it down, making it visual. This course is all about the visual side. So it's important if you can write this out, put it on a piece of paper and put it on your wall somewhere or have it in a binder that you're going to be compiling throughout this weight loss journey. Those are two options. As I mentioned in lesson one, these nine bags represent snacks that we are used to eating pretty much in our everyday life. And I'm going to be comparing them to sugar cubes and how much our body sees these as sugar when they are converted to carbs. So I'm just going to show you another one that I'm going to be talking about in lesson 10, 11, 12. Orange juice. Yes, orange juice has sugar in it, but it will be surprising to you as it was to me 
to see just how much sugar is in orange juice. So stay tuned for that module number four, lesson 10, 11, 12, where we're going to be talking about carbs and sugar. What does the weigh scale have to do with weight loss? This one is probably the most obvious one, but I'm going to be talking about the weigh scale in lesson three.